Right, hi everyone. If I can have a little bit of shush, please. Thank you very much. Um, welcome to um, Aston Students' Union. Um, we're really, really pleased to have so many of you here today um, to celebrate the opening of this amazing new space for students. Um, my name is Max McCroffin, I'm the Chief Executive of Students' Union. Um, and in a minute, you're going to hear us speak to Amra, our President, and Alec, the Vice Chancellor. And then following that, Dominic Cadbury is going to cut the ceremonial ribbon um, to announce the building formally opened. Following the speeches, you're more than welcome to keep having a wander, grab yourself a drink. We've got some food that's going to be available as well upstairs and downstairs, and just explore the building. And then in some of our meeting rooms upstairs, we've got some of our amazing clubs and societies that's going to be doing a few bits and pieces for people just to pop your head in and see how, how best this building works and how it's going to be used over the next decades. Um, so without further ado, thank you so much for coming. The building is lovely. I want to thank everyone that's been involved in making this space. It's absolutely brilliant. But I'm going to hand over to Amna and then to Alec. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, if anyone can't hear me, let me know now. All good. So thank you all for joining us today on our very special opening. I honestly feel so privileged and honoured to speak to you all today. So firstly, before I go on, I want to say a special thanks to the university exec team, the building team, and the Cadbury family that has supported us for many years, from that building all the way over there to over, over here. And literally, we appreciate all the support and where we are and how successful we are is because of the people all around us. So I just want to put our hands together so we can just acknowledge those that, are here, that couldn't be with us and those that are here with us. activity for you all to do so don't worry you don't have to move about I just want us to use our imaginations for just a minute and let's rewind back into time when this building was just a thought and then a discussion and then an idea and look what how what we've done this was a five-year plan five presidents gone and dusted but now let's snap into reality and let's look around and appreciate everyone's hard work that has gone into the building material all the way down to you choosing the reception chair colour. That is someone's hard work and we need to appreciate and acknowledge all of that. And I just want to say that I'm so proud to be part of a university that could put students first and make sure this, this would happen. Now, just one more time, I need you guys to use your imagination for the future. And let's see what we see the student union in the future. Uh, in the future, I see students coming and using the advice and representation centre. In the future, I see students coming and using the study spaces. In the future, I see prospective students choosing Aston University because the student union represents their thoughts and needs. And in the future, I see this happening because we're going to make sure we put students' de uh, decision at the heart of every discussion. And we should be honestly proud of that. So now, also, I'd like to say a special thanks to our union team. If you could just move your hands around. They're, so, they're really nice people. And how lucky we are to have them part of the Aston University team. And honestly, my SAB team and everyone has made this year great for everyone. And I just want to just put it out there. You guys are amazing. And we're really lucky to have you guys. And obviously, now I'm going to pass on to Alec Cameron. But before I pass on to Alec Cameron, I just want to say one more thing about Alec Cameron. I just want to say thank you, Alec Cameron, for listening, learning, and understanding us. And how great this year has been is literally because this individual is so hardworking and has always put students' change before himself. And I really appreciate that. And I've honestly learned a lot about that. So now I'm just going to hand the limelight to Alec Cameron. Thank you. <laughs> unusual place to be presenting from but but my, my first intention is to is to welcome everyone here it's fantastic to be able to welcome so many friends um, of Aston University and of course the Aston Students Union to this uh, wonderful new facility which we're so proud to be able to open on behalf of the Students Union. <laughs> I want to start with some thank yous. Uh, Anna has already made reference to the Cadbury family which are well represented today uh, the building, as people would know, has been named after Sir Adrian Cadbury, uh, and Sir Adrian Cadbury was the Chancellor of this university for a significant period of time, and, as Anna noted, the Cadburys have been ge very generous in their support of the university, and specifically of the Students' Union, and did make a significant financial gift towards the construction of this new building for the Students' Union. So I would like to, to mention 
Sir Dominic, who is the, who's Adrian's brother, uh, who will be cutting the ribbon for us shortly. And of course, Sir Adrian, sorry, Sir Dominic himself, very distinguished in, him, in terms of having been not only very prominent in the Cadbury family, the Cadbury business, but also himself as the Chancellor of the University of Birmingham. Um, so Dominic is, is joined by his, his wife Sally today. Uh, we've also got uh, Adrian's sister, Veronica Wooten, is joining us. So we're very pleased to be able to welcome Veronica. And importantly, Adrian's two sons, Benedict and Matthew, and their respective wives, Catherine and Francesca, are here. So, so once again, on behalf of the university, thank you very much for what the Cadbury family has done in the past for the university and continues to do. And we very much value um, the, the association that we have with the Cadburys. I wanted to also identify people who've been involved with this project. Um, and as Anna has already called out, there are, there are many groups involved. I do want to mention the, the Estates team um, at Aston University who has had responsibility for this. We're also joined by some members of the Aston Council today. And of course, Council has a very important role with regard to significant capital decisions, particularly with regard to buildings. Um, and Stuart Doughty is, is with us, and Stuart is the chair of the Finance and Infrastructure Committee for Council, who has had governance responsibility over this project. We've also got some fantastic partners who have assisted us in the, in the building. Uh, that includes Fed Constructions, the builders, uh, Mace, who've been the project managers, uh, Robertham's architects, uh, Stuart Associates, who've been engineering consultants. What Amna, of course, mentioned is that there's been a really important role for the student union themselves. This building is in some, is in some sense um, bringing together all of the expertise I've just referred to, but most importantly, aligning that with the vision that several generations of student leadership have had for the facility that they want on this campus. It's been a fantastic experience working with, with the current student union leadership, but this building has had a gestation over several years. And it's, it's great to see several past student union presidents here uh, at this opening today. Let me just talk very briefly about the building. What you, know, what you can see clearly is, is fantastic in the sense it's a new building. And those who know, know the old building would know that it's distinguished by being a very old building. Um, <laughs> there, are, there are two things that I think are exceptional about this building. Uh, first of them is actually just where we have chosen to locate it on the campus. I think what we have emerging on this university, let me say, is there is very much a student precinct and an academic precinct. And we are in the middle of the student precinct here and we are surrounded by student accommodations. We've got a, a playing field immediately adjacent to the building, but this is the heart of the student precinct. This is the student union. This is where students will come and spend their time. And I did have the opportunity to drop down to the building yesterday. In fact, I brought the pro-chancellor, Eve Buckland, who was on campus, had come down, let's have a look at the student union. We came into this building. It was full of students, most of whom I think have been evicted today so that we could hold this event. But it was buzzing in terms of the activity. No one had to tell students how to use the building. They worked that out very quickly. They occupied all the spaces and they occupied them probably at least to the extent of and beyond the way that we thought the building may be employed. So, so location is really important. Secondly is the nature of the building. Uh, Alan Charters, who is, who is Director of Estates here, in some sense described it as the shed to me when it was in construction. Um, the reality is it's an incredibly open building, it's an incredible fle incredibly flexible building. There are so many ways in which the spaces in this building can be used. Um, and the students will conceive ways of using it that we haven't even thought of at the time of the building. But, but in some sense, the flexibility and the open, open architecture greatly facilitates that. So, um, I think it's a fantastic building. As I said, it was a thrill yesterday to come down and see students using it and so happy with the facility. We built it for students um, and students are ultimately the purpose for which this university exists. Let me say one last thing about the Aston Students Union before I hand over to um, Sir Dominic to assist in the opening of the building. Um, I have a very strong sense that um, the benefits that students get from coming to a university like Aston can be summarised in, in three elements, right? One is they, they, through their education here, they gain knowledge and they gain skill development and they develop as young people and, and receive the, the education which is necessary for them to take on the first step in their career on graduation, right? So that's really important. The university is an educational entity. We educate students. 
The second benefit the students obtain, of course, is they receive a, a certificate at the end of their uh, end of their degree, which they can show to employers to demonstrate that they've mastered these attributes. They get something in some sense that they can take to the market and they can give to an employer to obtain the, the best career and job opportunities. But the third element of what we provide very much is, let me say, that the, the non-academic development of students here. And when I say non-academic, it's, it's the opportunities that students get to build great friendships, to have great experiences, to, to develop personal attributes outside of the classroom. And I strongly believe that student unions are central to that proposition, right? This is where students come together, they develop leadership attributes. As we've seen, you know, we've seen in some sense, you know, great development in AMNA. I noticed Rima in the room earlier. Um, you know, we've got, we've got a variety of student leaders who've come through the organisation. But it's, the, it's what individual students get. They come here, they socialise with friends, they join clubs and societies, they gain fantastic experiences, and those experiences are really important in their development. They're really important when they go and get jobs. They're fantastically fulfilling in life because most of us who've been to university, we don't remember that many of the lectures we attended. We remember a lot of the stuff that happened outside the classroom, in the students' union, on the playing field, with our friends. And that's the, in some sense, that's the gift that we want to give to our students. And this facility and the outstanding students' union that we have is a key element of that. So without further ado, um, on behalf of all of us, as I said, it's, it's, a, it's a great pleasure to be able to celebrate the Aston Students' Union, to celebrate uh, this building and the, the concept of this building and what this is doing to the campus in terms of, of pulling students down into this area. We've even got a wonderful you know, water view from this building, so it's, you know, it's what every, every real estate agent wants. Um, can I now introduce, as I have previously, uh, Sir Dominic, um, brother of Sir Adrian, after whom this building is named, to ask him probably to do more, no more than cut the ceremonial ribbon.